In this video, I'm going to show how to create a stitched fabric collage using my Stitchcraft Toolkit in Procreate. Now the pack comes with a selection of fabric brushes, um, including herringbone, plaid, hessian, denim, um, leather, wool, and lots of others, plus it has stitch brushes, and as a little bonus, it also includes um, some button and sequin graphics, which you can just place and I shall demonstrate those shortly. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this ellipse here with one of the patterns. And to do that, I need to make sure I have alpha lock turned on. Having alpha lock turned on ensures that I'm just drawing in the center of the circle and not outside it at all. So we're going to turn that on. And we're going to select colour here. And we're going to choose one of the fabric brushes. And I think we'll pick denim. And simply filling the circle like that, dead easy. I'm going to turn alpha lock off. And now I'm going to use a different fabric brush to paint in the background. So I think I'll just change the colour so it's a little lighter and we're going to fill them with plaid. Like so. Now I'd like to add a drop shadow to this ellipse and to do that I'm just going to duplicate the ellipse by sliding to the left. I'm going to select the bottom copy of the ellipse and I'm going to go to the adjustment and select hue, saturation and brightness and click on layer. Now I'm going to reduce the brightness right down to none and then I'm going to click adjustments to confirm the change and then click on adjustments again and go to Gaussian blur and layer. And now I'm just going to slide to the right as you can see the drop shadow appears. Now I'm going to set this to multiply and I'm going to reduce the opacity just that little bit. Like so. And the great thing about creating drop shadows in this way is that you can adjust the direction of the lighting by just moving your circle. Now it's time to add some stitching. And I'm going, so I'm going to change onto a new layer here. And I'm going to choose a dark color. And I'm going to choose one of the stitch brushes. And it's really, it's just as simple as drawing where you'd like the stitching to be. Like so. Now because of the way Procreate brushes work, we have some transparency in the stitch. Um, so you can see the layer below. So I'm just going to underpaint the stitching layer. So I'm adding a new layer. And I'm just going to choose white as the color. And then I'm going to select one of the pre-installed airbrushing brushes that comes with Procreate, and that's the medium airbrush here. And I'm simply just going to paint in underneath, just giving us a lighter stitch. And as you can see, it masks out the color below. Now I'd like to give the stitching uh, a drop shadow as well. So again, I'm going to duplicate the stitch layer and move that below the white masking layer. And then I'm going to adjust the hue, saturation and brightness so that the brightness is down to none. Then I'm going to add a very subtle Gaussian blur to that, like so. Now I'm going to set that to multiply and just the opacity so it's really, really subtle, like so. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier on, the pack also includes a set of button and sequin graphics. So I'm going to place some of those just to demonstrate how to use them. And to do that, I'm going to go to Actions and insert Photo. And I'm just going to select a button by clicking on it. Now I'm going to adjust the color ever so slightly. So again, going to adjustments and hue, saturation, and brightness, clicking on layer, and I'm going to make it ever so slightly bluer, like so. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow to that. And you guessed it, I'm going to hue, saturation, and brightness again, reducing the brightness, then adding a Gaussian blur like so. And it's a little bit dark, so we'll set to multiply and reduce the opacity. And finally, I'm going to add a sequin. And we do exactly the same again. And we go to our actions and insert a photo. And just select a file. Shrink it down and then go to hue, saturation and brightness. And just adjust the hue slider. So I'm happy with the color, there we are. And finally, of course, add a drop shadow, as I did before. That's how easy the pack is to use. To see examples of the type of artwork that you can create using the pack, please head over to artworksforge.com. Thanks for watching.